In this lesson, we're going to learn how we can get data from web sources. Now, if we go to the source, which in this case is going to be a Wikipedia page, we'll notice that there's a lot of data in here that we'd like to import that's in the form of a table. So let's go ahead and visit this Wikipedia page, which you have access to in a TXT file. And you'll see that there is this table with columns and rows. Now that's very important to understand that in order for you to import it into Excel, the data you're wanting to import has to be on a table. Now there may be quite a few different tables inside of your website, so you're going to want to make sure that you understand what the data is you're working with. So very simply, all I'm going to do is copy this URL, go back to Excel, and then very simply choose my data tab, click on get data, Go over here to From Other Sources, choose From Web. And now just simply right click, choose Paste. There's my Wikipedia link. I click OK. And you can see it's connecting. And then from here, our Navigator dialog box will appear. Now, if you look on the left hand side, we're going to see a number of different tables here. Most of these we're not going to be able to use, but like I said, some websites can have multiple tables that can have value for you. So if I simply click on this top one, you're going to notice there's my data. If I click on the second one, you're going to see there is some data, but that's not the data I want. But just to confirm, I'm going to go back to this data and then I'm going to click on my web view tab right here. And we'll be able to see the actual website in action. So now I have confirmation for that. Now I'll go back to my table view and you will notice that maybe there's some things I don't necessarily want to bring in. For example, it has the world population here, but all I want is just the countries and I want to keep location, population, percent of the world, etc. So what I'm going to do is click on transform data and that's going to take me into the Power Query Editor. And now from here, all I want to do is just say remove rows, remove top rows, type out the number one because I only want to remove one row from the top, click OK, and now that's gone. Now if I wanted to, I could also adjust some of these other elements. Like let's say for example, I don't like the fact that there's no space here. I can just very simply double click, get inside of that, hit enter, and now it's going to come in. Of course, when I bring it into Excel, I'm going to be able to do that same thing. Some other changes I may want to make is changing the column type. So you can see here, this date format is not accurate. This is just text. So very simply, just go ahead and click on that ABC. I'll choose date, and now it's going to get converted to the right format. I go over here to the far right, and I don't need the notes. So I'm going to right click on that, say remove, and I also don't need this source. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on that and say remove. And now I'm ready to load it back into Excel by simply clicking on close and load, wait for it to get the data. And just like that, I have all my content looking beautiful there. Now, of course, I can format this. I can even make changes to it. But you'll see over here on the right hand side, I'm also going to have my queries and connections here. It is telling me I have 239 rows of data loaded up there. I can confirm that. And also the fact is that if this data is updated on the website itself, it is going to get fed into here. Now I could also right click in case I wasn't sure about it and I can always refresh that data anytime I want to and even go into the properties and make some necessary changes as well to see what other kind of parameters I can control. And just to confirm, I can go back over to here. I can convert this to a percentage if I want to. Go ahead and increase the decimals and then also confirming that this is now a date format. So all those changes I made in my Power Query Editor have now also been migrated into Excel. So pretty neat that we're seeing data brought in from a website into Excel, and also you can see it's pretty straightforward and pretty efficient in its process. So go ahead and try that with this website and also experiment with other websites and ensure that those websites do have tables to ensure that the process will go smoothly. Thanks everybody and we'll see you in future lessons. Are you happy with this training? Make sure to subscribe for more great content. Visit the Simon Says It channel, explore our videos and training sessions and decide what you wanna learn next.